So you know the game shoots and ladders? And you climb the ladder to go up? Well, I've been on the slide down, 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 and I'm, I'm still going. The financial health gap between men and women is growing in America. Women are far less likely to be financially healthy than men. And these disparities are even wider for women of color. They told us as teenagers, get your degree, choose your career, and you'll make a lot of money. But that's not really how it works. 64% of women have challenges meeting household expenses. You almost don't even want to think about it because there's nothing you can do. I'm not sure how, how big bills are going to get. I'm living with that uncertainty of what's around the corner. Seven in 10 mothers make a career change due to parenting. When I started having kids, I had nobody to help me. You couldn't find a good babysitter. I gave up my career, but I wish I didn't have to. Women are 25% more likely to report unmanageable levels of debt than men. My financial regret is taking on credit card debt that I thought was going to build my credit. I'm happy that student loans are on pause right now, but I am still so stressed for when they come back. Less than half of women think they will have enough money in retirement. Saving now is really hard. You can't even prepare for retirement. You've got to utilize whatever you have to make sure you stay afloat. When thinking about my financial situation and my 70-year-old parents who need me, I'm thinking, hey, I still need your help. Women need equal wages they can live on. They need better benefits and safety nets. Women need affordable care for their families and a better way to save for the future. We can do better. Empowering women empowers us all.